said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Yeah, remember? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I didn't have a choice. I'm basically a slave. They said they wanted to brain control me. Please save me, Tally. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. I would think this Shepard is a robot if I heard that. Tally looks great, by the way. My romance as a male Shep is Tally out all the way. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his... I love the new Corian look. From an open For the males and the females, it's great. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Oh, that's great. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. What's going on? I mean, I hate Cerberus, but why do you hate Cerberus? Does it have anything to do with a book? Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people infiltrated our flotilla and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. No, Miranda, that's exactly what happened. You shut up. Who killed who later? Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. They're just taunting Thank me you. now. We've been spotted. Yeah, he died. All right. There's a lot of stuff there. Oh, that's easy. There we are. Funny. Sniper up. I, I bugged myself here a couple times, so I hope it doesn't happen again. There we go. Hit him. Okay. Right. Here we go. Enemy down. I'm the winner, me. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. That was like literally one minute ago. You guys screwed me over within like three seconds. That's incredible. You guys have great timing. No, you don't. I see you. There we go. Hurry, Shepard. We are inside the loading docks. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. They did Ooh, want to get to that me. sounds bad for Vitor. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. 
That was good. If you're noticing that I'm just quietly getting things and grabbing things, it's because I played this game like a dozen times. Each game, like a dozen times. Understood. Take point, Shepard. I just we'll know where things are for the most part. I'll be surprised every once in a while because I've become a creature of habit. But for the most part, yeah, I know where everything is. Not everything. I'm sure I'm, I'll have missed a few things. You're doing it. Ah! You really showed me. I will give it to the Mass Effect 2 writer in that it's nice that, like, the second alien race we see is Quarians. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Alright. Well, start shooting. The energy would have been super useful at a time like this. I don't know why Miranda ran out of the cover I put her in. Oh no, it's because we reset to a new Oh jeez, hold on. I got it. You're doing it, hold on. You're doing it. Alright, cool. Get over here! Bang! Oh, they turned it off! Uh normally what happens. I don't know. No, it's. I think it's just still working the tutorial. Normally, what happens when you shoot off a Ymir mech's head? Uh, which good name, by the way. I like the Norse mythology behind the Fenrir, the 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 Loki variant, and the Ymir variant. No, cool names. Um, normally, what happens is it turns into like a little mini nuke, and it just pops off. Very fun. Can kill you though. Absolutely can kill you. Don't get that twisted. Okay. Uh, don't worry, I know. I know this is the last room right here. I'll take it. I know this, this tells you where to go if anybody's curious. So you can go the other way. I always love when you have an objective marker so you know where not to go. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded ship. He's probably somewhere in the back of the Lozi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Holy crap, guys. Jesus. All right. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Hey, man, it's cool now. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. This is the other really cool, awesome, legitimately great part of Mass Effect 2, is they introduce uh, action shortcuts. So you can do more spontaneous Paragon choices or spontaneous Renegade choices, instead of just all being dialogue. Really good addition. Who didn't find us? The only problem... The monsters. Got a compliment sandwich. They took the only one. problem is sometimes you won't know what it means, right? Sometimes if you have a gun in your hand and you're pointing it, it's like, oh, Renegade will shoot. Paragon will do probably not shoot, something non-lethal, right? Like there, I didn't know what I was going to do, but it was a nice thing. They can be vague as the problem. It's the same problem as the regular dialogue paraphrasing. I know what the game probably is telling me it's going to be an overall good option, but specifically, the specifics are not Pacific. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. Don't yell at him. You didn't see, but I see everything. Looks like security. Does he have the sharing gun? He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My God, I think it's a collector. What's that? Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If 
they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. I wish the collectors the could talk. Advanced technology. They could have a weapon. Like, I wish they were an actual, like, corrupted race, like orcs. Like, they could talk. That would make them so much more interesting. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. My, my little idea to restructure Mass Effect 2, but keep most of it intact, is just make it a mission about, like, like they said, collectors act through intermediaries, like slavers. I would change that slightly and say they act through indoctrinated people that they kind of, like, work their way into making, like, work for them, like, directly. Like, you know how in Mass in, in this game, um, the Asari helps the Rachni if they're still alive from Mass Effect 1, and she kind of, like, melds with them mentally to communicate telepathically? I would make, like, a negative version of that for the Collectors, so that way your job is not just to find the Collectors and stop them, but stop the indoctrinated agents that are integrated into society in the two years you've been gone. So that way you're, like, you're going all to the hub worlds, going to all the important people, finding out which of the major leaders of their assistants is the actual bad guy. That way you get to see like a little mini Saren in every situation where someone might be fighting it, someone might be embracing it, um, and all these other things about indoctrination so that you can better build indoctrination and you know that it's still insidious threat. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. That's true. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims. Oh no, I'm allergic to Shepard. A stasis field or nerve toxin. That's that's cool. It kind of works with the, the body dehumanization by, by stuffing them into like cargo, like the like the Reapers uh, huskified humans in Mass Effect 1, so that, that, that kind of tracks. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. All right, we'll keep going. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Thanks, Vitor. That was very helpful. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them, the monsters, the swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings, electromagnetic, dark energy. We need to get this data to the Oh, Grab the quarry and sweep that under a rug. Pick us up. What? Vitor, they really were trying to, like, not an interrogation. really plant the seeds of the dark energy storyline. He He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza he doesn't have any intel. He's it. told us everything. You're welcome to take Vitor's omni -tool data, but please, just let me take him. I mean, I'm gonna ask this just because it doesn't end the conversation. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. Sir, <laughs> Shepard coming off real judgy. That should tell you how important it is. Um, I'm going to let the guy go with the not terrorists who are bad at, who are uh, not bad at their job. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. Know your place. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Mm, new enemy threat. Make no mistake, though, the elusive man is still the villain of the story. I mean that both literally and in a meta sense. The writer wants you to think that he's the bad guy. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. 
You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Well, you know, it helps not being a terrorist in general. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more important, I wonder whose fault that is. You confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are. Did you think I would like fall under confirmation bias if you told me? Systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Hmm. What is the Omega-4 relay? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. That's true. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Mm. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. So clearly it means that the storyline is saying that there's something genetically about humans the Reapers are trying to discover for some reason. Because why, if they're looking into specific genetic mutations, they must be looking something genetically inherently in humans. Durr. So smart. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. And just like that, Shepard is forced to agree with Cerberus. There's no I won't do it. There's no option here that says I don't like you, I'm, I'm gonna do it by myself. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them... The rest of them, tougher than leather. ...could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Nah. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who My reception isn't even good on my hologram. Years ago, Commander, most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. What about Garrus? Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after Garrus is my buddy. declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Caden? Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. What about my, my Rex friend? My friend Rex? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. I just met Tally, though. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. What do you mean you need more intel? I'm committing to it. I want Tally now. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Oh, she can't be trusted. But you guys, you guys are great. Not my old girlfriend. But you guys, bees knees. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Eh, go away so I can enjoy the actual good part of the game that isn't you. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. 
Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Okay, no, now I have my two things to tell you. Number one, uh, how is he supposed to counteract something that no one knows exists until right now? We're the first ones that ever found the Seeker Swarms and how they work. Number two, even if he did have some basis to go off of, we don't have any samples. What's that? The script will give him a sample? Even though we've never faced the Collectors before? You got it. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make it. I will continue to be obstinate right. to this asshole. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. You're gonna notice how quickly they just... Oh, Joker can walk now, by the way. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. There's a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. I think I'm gonna get rid of my racing the yellow color. One thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined. Or maybe Star I won't. It looks good in the right lighting. Trust the elusive man? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. They are all bad, Joker. And there's this. Oh yeah, he he just said. Oh, hold on. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Uh, Joker just pointed out that they destroyed. Well, not they. 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 I destroyed. I'm confusing my talking points. They fired their best pilot in the entire fleet, and they said, "Nah, no thanks. We're not going to use him anymore." So. We're just not gonna use Joker anymore. And then they let him quit because he was tired of their bullcrap. Like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard the Alliance do, is let Joker go. I mean, they didn't fire him, but they certainly didn't help him. Also, the Normandy's just back. It blew up like, like an hour ago in video game time, and they just gave it back to us. Like, that's like, you could have waited longer. Like, if they really wanted to build it up again, it's just like, it, it makes me feel like they killed you and blew up your ship just so you could be alive and owe Cerberus while also, hey, you also owe them because they have your new ship now and it belongs to them. And it's like, really? You could have just let me keep all my things and just keep, just keep looking around. Like, it really feels like, it's like, okay, here are all the things we just took away from you, but now you work for Cerberus. It's, it's mental gymnastics just to do it again. And yes, I know the, the Normandy is different in upgrading. They could have just naturally upgraded over the course of the past two years. But, whatever, it's, it's new, it's orange, it's the Normandy SR2. Yeah, well, now that I see the this, this Shepherd in, in casual clothing on the Normandy, this is good. I like this. She looks great. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. It's my ship. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. So here's the thing. Normally I would say, screw you, I'll do whatever I want. You guys are all terrorists, and I'm working here out of convenience. But, number one, Morden's the, like one of the best characters in the entire game, so yeah, I want him on board. Number two, that research lab that's behind Jacob's pants over there in the background is locked to Morden being on the ship, 
and it's very important to upgrading things in the ship altogether. So I need Morden. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who is talking? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Cool. This isn't ter this isn't a terrible idea at all. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Cool. What's going on? I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Salute. You're not the Alliance. You don't have to do that. It's the map. It's my messaging. Now, this is great. I like the messaging system. I like that they upgraded that you can actually get email to, like, very cheaply just talk to people across the galaxy or get messages from them. It's also an easy way to introduce DLC. Just put it on your messaging system. Uh, that being said, it should have made it like Alpha Protocol. Alpha Protocol is the best email system where you get approval points or, or companion points between different people you meet by talking to them and responding. It's such a cheap way to do it. But it's so effective because it gives you another conversation tree without having to voice it. Anyways, most of the ship is closed off because you have to get a teammate to be in that ship. Let's, uh... We gotta collect all these people, which we'll talk about that soon. Uh, oh, I could just do it now. I kind of want to just do it now, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Uh, just so I get my Paragon Renegade-ness up. Agent. Secret Agent Shepard. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Nito. Welcome aboard, Commander. Oh, Kelly, they ruined you. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. There, a, a hairstyle that looks more like her ME2 hairstyle exists in the game, which is why this is so confusing to me. But I legit love Kelly. I'm gonna say right now, I know I always pick Tally as like my male shepherd romance, because it's like, oh, okay, that's the character I would probably romance, because she's the sweetest, she's the nicest, she's compatible with most of my personality interests or whatever. Uh, but, but on the real, if I didn't want to pick a party member, Kelly. Kelly is legit the most like safe, emotionally secure, there for you character in the series. I know it's her job as a counselor, and it's somewhat unethical what she does to be romancing you, technically, but she doesn't also counsel you in, a, in a, like an official capacity. But that being said, Kelly, like S tier. Glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? I think my favorite of Kelly's updates for you about your companions, about them wanting to talk to you, is Jack's. Because she goes, Jack wants to speak to you in her hidey hole down below engineering. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Cool. That's it. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes, I look for warning signs. I, I like Black Hair Shepherd. It's not a full I'm into it. And it's most effective when done informally. I, I think it's a great idea to have a counselor on the ship. Quite quite honestly, I think it's an amazing idea. 
I like when Deus Ex Mankind Divided did it. I like when this game did it. What's another game that did it that I really like? Persona 5 Royal. I love when that game did it. I'm like, that's perfect. More games should have a way in which... Because here's the thing. Mercy and I will tell you all day, mental health is super important. Not only that, it's important to spread awareness of it in different media. But not only that, just from a story, video game narrator's perspective, in a game in which you have dialogue, like Persona, like Deus Ex, like Mass Effect, having a character that is straight up just a counselor is like RPG freebie. That's candy. You get to stop and tell a character how you feel. That's like role-playing 101. That's perfect. That's a perfect job for a counselor type person to bring that out of your, your player to say, give them an opportunity to vent or give them like certain ways to feel. And Mass Effect 2 does a good job of that actually here and there, not just with Kelly and other characters too, where they stop and they ask you how you feel or how you're feeling about future scenarios. It can be a little narrow, but it's overall pretty good. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? I want to know, are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? Will you go to prom with me, and Y or N? To help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry, Kelly, we'll do it. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Hey. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Nah, I'm good. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Thank you, Kelly. I love Kelly. She's great. But she's gonna. But her new identity in Mass Effect Three. Once they do the identity switch for Kelly. Good. Much better. It actually looks more like her Mass Effect 2 self, which is bizarre to me. Anyways, message from Anderson. On the off chance that rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come talk to me. Please come talk to me. You're dead. I thought you were dead. Hey, uh, it's, it's, it's the elusive man. Uh, it's, uh, I, I got a, I paid a guy to be on the team. Just paid him straight up money. He's the best bounty hunter in the, in the galaxy. So just take him. Uh, there is a new ship. Because we threw away the Mako. We're Cerberus. We made a new ship. And we're looking for the people who uh, are missing. Please come find them and take the ship, please, now, also. Thank you. Hey, do you want to go do the DLC from Hackett that says, Go find where the Normandy blew up? I actually like it a lot. It's a really subdued moment that allows you to really ruminate on the destruction of the first Normandy. I wish the main story took the same care and subtlety with it. But whatever. I'll take it now. Recon Hood, we already got that. Makes me look like Spider-Man a little bit. I like it. Project Overlord, uh-oh. Cerberus has another cell. That's ruining everything. Go help them when you have the time. I don't know when we'll do this. Probably before the end of the game. Probably before the suicide mission. Arc Projector, here's a new heavy weapon. It's literally just a, a lightning bolt gun. I hired another person to be on your team with DLC... She is a thief. I don't know what I'm going to have you steal to stop the collectors, but it's a fun piece of DLC. Hey, are you playing the Legendary Edition? Thanks for submitting your updated medical documentation, changing your status from deceased to alive. Here's some money! From Mass Effect 1. That's a nice little detail. I actually really like that a lot. And we got team. We got armor. Jacob gets no armor. Miranda gets really good armor but we'll save it for later. I think we're good for now. Uh, Joker wants to talk to us. The door is shut. What we'll do on the next episode is explore the ship and then uh, we'll probably start heading to Omega. Thanks everybody for watching. Please do the subscribing thing. I tried being on Twitch for the first episode. That didn't really work out. I got like 20 minutes of footage. Um, if anybody's interested in still me trying, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you like anything about Mass Effect 2 or have any grievances Let me know. I'm always open to how people feel about these games. It is one of my favorite games And that's why I let's play it Bye.
it's good to be home, huh, Commander? 